What's up everyone? My name is David Sinair and today we're going back to Metal Gear with Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots The last canonical game in the series and pretty emotional one So this is the title screen but let's jump in right. Let's create a new game. Play on easy. Just enjoy the story here. No need to make this a challenge. So, the game starts like this. There are a lot of channels you can browse. <clears throat> I usually look at this one. I like, I like it because there, it's an interview with David Hayter, which is the voice actor for Snake. It was a really excellent experience, actually. I was really grateful for it. Grateful. What is your biggest secret, David? Pardon me? You can tell us. Oh, well, it's not much of a secret, but I, um, uh, I have a tattoo of Kobe behind my ear. Tattoo? Splendid! Yeah, it's... It's not terribly big. <laughs> what are you wearing? I, what do you mean? Why are you here? Oh, well, I was hoping to promote my new movie. I'm just coming off of the set. No, David Hayter. Why? Here. Wearing an eye patch. Always love the ad. Oh, the eye patch. Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. You mean... Gives me uh, real-time information. Mean, I don't think this is an ad if you mean this. Oh, you mean the Twitch ad. Okay. But hey, welcome, Zach. What are your dreams? Uh, well, you know, I'd have to say my dream project. Let your dreams drive you. Uh, a message of hope to today's young people from David Hayter. Mm. I never actually said that. So that's the interview. Also got some commercials. Kind of sets the tone for the world we live in now on Metal Gear. Okay, we are ready to go.
changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. War has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. This is it. Now you're solid for. So the game starts out by contradicting Fallout and saying war has changed. As you probably know, Fallout starts with. Uh, war, war never changes. We'll have a chance. The truck to know what's up. Try going under it. Huh? War did change, and many things did change in the two years between Hell uh, Solid 2 and 4. It's only been two years, so. Don't go thinking otherwise. This is not the far future. Okay, Zach, take care of what you need to take care of. This is just the beginning. I need to take care of the auctions as well. I think. Just this. Yep. 
Okay. I think everything is okay. To make a weapon available for use, ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. Don't forget, Snake. Just keep moving. It's been two weeks since we finished Metal Gear Solid 3. I hope everything is still fresh on everyone's mind. In this game, you really have to know what's up and remember what came before it. That's why I play them all. Start is a little slow. And try not to run into any gecko along the way. Remember how to play video games. I'm gonna have to pick them up again. We're seeing PS3 graphics. We've been... what? what? Oh yeah, we've been playing old games. You're right. Uh oh. Let's run from the gecko. Geckos are tough to take on, especially in the prologue.
going to start wars. Oh yeah, and rainbow suits. So I didn't I didn't mention Solid Snake was old in this game before because I didn't want to spoil it in case you guys didn't know. As I assumed you didn't know. It's a really big thing, but it was all over the trailers, but since you haven't watched any trailers, I assume. I kept it a secret. The geckos certainly killed those watermelons. This is it. I really love this game. Even though I don't like this setting. Uh, it's only for Act 1. There are many more acts and settings to come. This is a really big game. Yes, let's save. We did absolutely nothing so far. What? Yeah, why not?
snake. We've got to go. You've got an old friend waiting for you. Vatican. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive. But the mRNA analysis turned up negative. Wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner's syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So. Well. Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say. A year at best. Snake, let's try another doctor. Huh. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention the fox die. Yeah. We're going to press the buttons. You're right. For the flashbacks. But we don't know where Naomi is. I'm stealing your clothing style, that's weird. Uh, snake. Colonel, good to see you. Well, I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. They are not. I'll explain along the way. Just Mel Gear Solid 3 references. Everything is referenced in this game. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found it. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait. Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Snake looks like a pedophile with that mustache. I don't think so. I don't like the mustache, but I don't think it looks bad. This game is known for many, many, many cutscenes. I hope you are all ready for that. Hey, <laughs> Turkina, it's not a porn stash. I'd rather see him with a beard, like him, too. What can you do? I guess he doesn't want to look like Big Boss. This is Snake. Do you read me? 
What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the U.S. military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price. The game the sets you low. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay. We got the Octo Camo. We had it, but we couldn't use it before because we were dressed in those old rags. And now we are playing for real. So welcome to Act 1. I would never expect you to know what that is. What's what? Oin... OI... TNB's porn stash. I don't know what OITNB means, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this. Let's give Snake back problems by walking like this. So I always assumed they'd never really explained why Solidus looked older than Liquid and Solid. I always assumed it was the same sickness that Snake now has. Well, let's... Uh, I, I'm not going to use the iPod because I don't want to get a copyright strike. Uh, don't really remember how to use the camouflage. Manually, I mean. Orange is the new black. No, I don't watch that. Rendezvous is such a fun word. Yes, I agree. <laughs> we just got Netflix in Portugal. So you mean I should go watch Orange is the New Black? Well, it's it's more he's more of a pedophile if I do this. There's no point whatsoever. This is how he moves when I'm Got it? super, super sneaky. So yeah. That can happen. Go ask Sina to Netflix and chill. Please no. Anything useful here? We'll take some. Oh, we do. The ration. And a way to get somewhere else. <laughs> that pelvic thrust. <laughs> I agree. It's really weird.
So the camouflage changes by itself. If I stay still. And then I just have to shoot it. Not at me, I hope. weapons let's get out through here jeez he's already there oh not really but It's a little too serious. Don't remember how to grab an enemy. Okay. I found out. Seen it asked to Netflix and show Trakina. It would make my day. You two could upgrade to Hulu and commitment. Uh no. <laughs> I'd rather not. Let's stay inside the house. I'm going to give Snake back problems. Walking like this. You'll see, he will get back problems. I'm not even kidding. You gotta do what you gotta do. Zach, we know what Netflix and chill is. <laughs> you don't have to explain it. That's why I said no. Oh, Trakina didn't know. Okay. I take I take that back then. I thought it was a key public thing. If you ask to Netflix and chill with somebody, you're asking them to watch movies with you and then have sex to said movie. <laughs> Netflix is optional, let's just say that. Wearing the right camo. David really wanted to say yes. No. While I'm ahead, I'm just gonna say I'm only giving it. No, we're not doing anything, so. You can do whatever you want, just not with David. Come on, not today. Yay.
I'm really, really baffled by the fact that you didn't know that. Because it's a really common joke nowadays. Snake, press the crawl button while running to execute a roll. Rolling can help you dodge enemy attacks and get past small gaps and obstacles. Why even interrogate him? Cool and commitment is what friends do. I thought that was what uh, couples, real couples, do. You're committing to watching a show. Oh, okay. You want to see something funny? I hope so. This is one disguise you can use if, if there's an alert. Couple chill and have sex. Okay. Uh, so you can pretend you're a statue. But if you do this too many times... <laughs> you, you break the statue. Oh, snake. No more Netflix and chill for the statue. to have say couples children have sex if you say so <laughs> well I thought the chill part meant it was not a, a committed relationship like you'd ask that of someone you're not serious with I was just thinking that I hadn't had an alert status yet. Oh, 
there's a guy over there. David, you should ask all the Portuguese thoughts if they want to watch Netflix or not. You have to have at least a few. I don't know what a thought is. I assume you mean girls. Stripper? <laughs> no. Please, no. Hey, Sons Regalo. How are you? Because you had to dress up Welcome back. I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. Thought is a ghetto horror. I never figured that out. I'm sorry. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Do you like Metal Gear, Sons of Regal? Have you played it before? I'm learning what Netflix and chill is. I know what it is. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. I knew. Trakina didn't know. That's why I said I didn't want to do it with him. The implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. you go like this I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention if you need it just bring up the start button menu no. No. snake the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up head for the rendezvous point I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye it's a war zone out there stay on your toes not only did I already know I already asked someone. <laughs> so use this. It's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. Go, go, go. Okay, now I can pick the camouflage. Yeah. 
I shouldn't have done this. Come on, change your back. like a bunch of tiles. Yeah. I don't really remember how to play this game. the waypoints was not there. I guess I'm shooting me. You have the Phantom Pain on PS4, but not for our okay. guy. Well, the Phantom Pain is way, way before this one happens. This one is the last one. I think I, I have nothing to kill that with. Mistaken. Uh, yeah, this one's locked. So just go away. And pretend I was never here. Oh no, I have an RPG. Wait. Wait! 
Let's stop what we're doing. Use the RPG. Let's go around. That thing. Success. We did something. Hey, friend. Just passing through. Yes, I can kill them. And they will all attack me if I do. So let's not do that. This is way darker than I remember. Okay, we're going here. Do you like the Phantom Pain, Sansa Regal? This I'm a little divided on it. <laughs> uh, hey Eric. This is old gummy snake, not just gummy snake. That's a shield of get it off my treasure. Chickens! <laughs> Grandpa Gummy. So, who votes on killing a chicken? Do we want to kill a chicken? I think we do. No use for that, though. No, no. Don't feel like that. Let's kill our mice as well. Killed chicken. <laughs> I anticipated it. I know you guys, you wouldn't spare the chicken. So, I did it first. Hey, we have a new music. Theme of Tara. Probably from Ghost Battle. Strange, strange, 
He's a wing of one of the flying guys. It's okay. Grenade and a grenade. Okay, one of each. I like that. You guys probably want to look at the room without the night vision. crap in this game. It really is. Get everything we can. And this is the exit. Thought it was on the other side. Okay. It's a little too dark in here. Pretty sweet, huh? Whoa, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah. They use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893.
you ain't a registered PMC employee. Hi. You need a guy like me. Consider the welcome gift. Take it. BM4. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMC. High precision, not like that government issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give her a squeeze. Hmm. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. <clears throat> My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they're even registered. Have a sip. Mm -hmm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green. Machines. So I'm guessing, former U.S. Army, <laughs> I don't know what you're here for, but you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. QA looks like hair coloring. I don't like it that much as well. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for yeah, us. Yeah, Dirty Blonde is okay. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia, this guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem <coughs> is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. Okay, so that's how we can get we our weapons. Or what? <laughs> okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Like what? 
I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nanomachines you've got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nanomachines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Kinda. No problem. Hey, be nice to our guests. Step outside. What a black market arms dealer give you an injection. Not a good idea, I'd say. up an ID gun that says lock you just let me know you name it I can launder it of course it'll cost you the going rate depends on the war price at the time <clears throat> and I gotta give this shit a rest it looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself you might say that what with the war economy and all and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. Demand keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. These ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human All race of them? will be all of them what? More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eye. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. <laughs> All right then. If you need me, holler. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my I do think some of the cutscenes in this game are a bit too long. This is one such cutscene. You could introduce this way faster. But hey, told you I'm going to show you the whole game, so that's what happened.
So now every gun we can we pick up in the field will be usable if we pay for the wandering and we can sell every excess gun we find. Such a cute tagline. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, I'll I'll give you that. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are going to get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cash. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants. Rat Patrol. Okay. We got the M4. We don't need anything else. Let's remove the knife and the AK. Uh, see what else we have. So as you can see, some of these are locked. Those are the ones I have to wander with Drebin before I can use. Do I really need that? Eh. I don't, I don't think so. Let's just take a look at the shop. Everything here we can buy. So oh, these are cool. This one is use, useless, I think, but we'll need to get it for a trophy later. So the only thing I really want is a sniper rifle. And yeah, we can get sights and uh, suppressors, all of that, grips. So let's see what sniper rifle I should get. This is non lethal. That's weird. What should we get? I think I should get a grip. Flashlight, definitely not.
Laser sight. Yes, I think so. Insufficient points, okay. What do we want? A grenade launcher? Sufficient points as well. Microscope. No. Okay. We can't get anything. Great. This was a big adventure. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Let's see. I don't really remember where to go first. Petrol bomb. Okay. Auto. Another RPG. Careful, Snake. The walls could come down any second. Let's hope not. You receive my email. I don't know. I am I am streaming. I'm not checking my email. Uh, I will check later. Climb up that ledge and keep going. Yes, the army is still dead. Probably playing Fallout. I told him I was going to start this one today. So he'll have Watch to out. catch it later. You'll have to press against the wall to get past. I missed the old radar from 1 and 2. That was almost too useful. Extra life waits for no streaming gummy. <laughs> Sorry, they don't have to wait. Not reading emails while streaming. That, that's rude. Who do you think I am, Colin Moriarty? Mm -hmm. 
who's there. Caught with your pants down. Literally. Of course, Snake. Seeing a guy shitting inside a barrel will obviously have to peek inside. Such a good idea. Look at him. He's nodding. He's loving the idea. He takes. He takes the drum. Oh. Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. Yes, I tell him about you. Sweet Yoru. When you find your rest in the Commonwealth between the jaws of the Death Boss. I'm sure you will. Those guys. up everything. This game has way more crap to pick up than the other ones. Oh, that's a really good place. This game makes me miss the sprint button from from Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes.
forgot the vehicle has someone in there as well. Good guys, you can come. Oh, there's something there. Stun grenade. Yeah. Let it be, I guess. Let's pick up all this shit. We need money for a sniper rifle. Sniper rifles are session. I'm getting more dragon points.
First strike where? Maybe. This game is a little weirder to play than the other ones. Takes mostly all the stealth away. Just in this point. It's very, very action heavy. You can you can do this. Uh, without ever being seen, your choice. I think it doesn't fit that much. Besides, I want to get everything. Get inside. So, like I said, uh, hopefully, you'll like. If you're like me, I I didn't fell in I didn't fell in love with this game at first. I don't like this setting. I never did. It's too bro shooter like for me. But things change, and things do change in this game as well. Setting, the mood changes. It's very action-packed right now, and it's it won't be always. We don't know much yet, of course, but the plot develops much better, I think. Oh. Sleep grenade or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. saw the mine and I thought I could pick it up. I'm bleeding, aren't I? I didn't fall in love. Yeah. I don't like this setting. 
But the, the rest of the game really made me feel better about everything. But the whole package. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. So what was up here exactly? It's a lot harder to aim when, when you have so much stress. Maybe I, I don't have to go. Um, it's been a long time since I played this. Snake is almost dead. It's all my fault. Crap. Okay, guys. I need to heal. Things are not working out. <laughs> what does this do? These descriptions are really great. Ration. A ration. Fuck. Thanks for all that information. So, I should eat some noodles? Maybe not. I have more rations than noodles. that and I'm going to rest for a little bit. I need to take a little break as well so both me and Snake will rest. I'll be right back guys.
Okay, I'm back. Oh, and Snake is all rested up too. So, I guess that was worth it. Batteries all fixed as well. Dad? I'm not your dad, Eric. And more cutscenes. Your weapon. Drop your weapon. All right. Here. <clears throat> Easy now. Move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move. CQC, real big boss, huh? Metal Gear Solid, the movie you get to play. That is true. It's a good movie, though. Lower your weapon. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. into your face. Uh, accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh my god. Meryl, you're my informant in the US military. And you must be the inspector sent by the UN. Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> What is 
is your problem. You okay? Stomach pains? Diarrhea? <laughs> Metal Gear. The world's problems with PMC and the war economy. It's been and four years since well. Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. You're the commander of this O-1 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Dave Fennoy. Sleeping giant is Jonathan. <laughs> no. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. Finally, Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too. Of course. 
Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Nanerune, no. What are you talking about? Never mind. <laughs> so this system is foolproof, huh? <clears throat> Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the US military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the US responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked them down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you gotta be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Barrel. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Someone's got issues. Meryl. So, you knew. Yeah. Little violation.
information of the need to know rule. Then why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Beryl. He, uh, <coughs> remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them, and they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the frog. It's private troops. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you being followed? No. Akiba! They might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh. It wasn't my fault. I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Follow me. Contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got it. Got it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. Move! Okay, we're finally playing here. That took a long time. Points to get all of these weapons. So let's, let's get this guy in flash. Uh, sorry I didn't answer you, Eric, because I was trying not to interrupt the, the cutscene. Um, but I don't know when Snake, I will be uploading to, to Facebook, to YouTube again. Because I wanted it to be different from a stream I don't really know how at least yet so that makes it harder I 
I haven't given up on this. I don't think I have. Oh well, not all. There's still in here, right? Hold on, Snake. One of Akiba's traps is still in the way. It's set too deep in the wall for the Mark II to get at it. You'll have to wait until Akiba gets there to disarm it. Hey, they're, they're the ones that are not keeping up. Where are they? I don't even know where they are. Akiba's not gonna last much longer. Go back and save his sorry butt, Snake. Was out of here long ago, guys. Get the other wings.
Here we go. Move it. Move it. I've been waiting for you guys. How could you join me on YouTube with the green screen? Oh, you mean you mean my image and you're not actually on camera, I get. Can happen, yes. Um. Ah, come on, Eddie. Is that really necessary? Or whatever your name is. Never really cared about these characters. <laughs> it's not a good place to kick. I didn't comment on Meryl, but I, I assume you remember me telling you that Meryl being alive was the canon ending to Metal Gear Solid 1. This is the reason she comes back, so she has to be alive.
The nano machine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see, and it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. So they all need to poop. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. Changed at all, Snake. But your body. Are you gonna be all right? This get up doubles as muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Kiba! One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. Know where liquid is yeah i'm confirming the location it's to the north of where you are meryl's really changed hasn't she snake she's a lot more self-assured <laughs> i wonder how much of that has to do with the system the senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them seems once you're under the system's control you don't even need experience at all it even beats that vr training that was all the rage a few years back yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy... He didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. Times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. We'll record locally as you do, but we'll do full let's plays of co op games, Borderlands, Destiny. I don't know, that might that might happen. I still need I still need to work out how they will look and feel different from, from what I do. 
on Twitch. That's the thing. Could patch my voice in via Skype too, or in my beer software. Still needs some editing. But yeah, I see what I see what you mean. It could be done. I think I, I need to get the feel right first. up with Draven. I can buy this, right? Looks like parts are much more expensive than actual weapons. Hmm, getting a little too comfortable there. I think you're on the right track for setting yourself apart on Twitch. You recognize that it's also risky. Move without it's time to take risks. Uh, what's a risky move? Yeah, YouTube? I don't think it's risky. Uh, I just, I don't know, it doesn't feel as great as Twitch, because on Twitch I can talk with you, I can talk with people in the chat, you consider it any sort of thematic schedule, well apart from Halloween, uh, not really, I, I'm trying to get through my backlog, and that keeps things diverse. I like that. I like not having a single genre that I'm uh, connected to. I don't want to be that guy that starts playing Destiny or Dark Souls and then has to do that every day or people will be disappointed. So... Let's hope that never happens. Let's get this one here. I need to unlock these. I had a sniper rifle. Shit. It's a damage. Ah, but this one's much better. You mean playing random games? Think that YouTube is can be an extension of your Twitch? That is true. It, they can work together and one can... They can bring people in. Uh, help each other out. But... I don't know. Not feeling... YouTube yet. I need to feel it. Okay, so we wasted a lot of, a lot of money. <clears throat> 
multiplayer Monday, Tactical Tuesday, Wacky Wednesday. It should be Throwback Thursday in free play. It's still really open, but that way at least people sort of know what to expect in, in general. I, I know, I know, I do like to keep people guessing. Do you know what's coming after Metal Gear? You don't. I might have given you a hint uh, yesterday. I don't know if you were still here when that happened. But I don't know. I like to keep people guessing. I like them to stay on their toes. And I like that people meet new games through me. I do realize everything, everything that I said can happen. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't go and play Metal Gear Solid 4 and then only come back to it a week later. Unless I was just showing it off. Like saying, first 30 minutes of the game on YouTube, and if you want to watch the rest, you have to go on Twitch. I can do that. I don't know, is that fair? For the, for the audience? Probably not. separate set of games. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like I'm saying. Uh, I don't know when I'm finishing this game. So I can't promise that this is Metal Gear Solid 4 week if I'm not finishing Metal Gear Solid by the end of the week. I was planning to play Shadow of the Colossus all week. And that didn't happen. Yesterday I was feeling it, and the, ch the chair was feeling it, and we we got through the whole game. I like I like to keep my options open, and not having that sad schedule. Yes, they were. Not having that set schedule does help. I can debate with people what to play as well, and I like that too. I like that uh, Zach and the Amir I mentioned Dead Space, and that's one of the games I have to play next. Not the next one. Uh, the Amir asked me to play Shadow of the Colossus, and I did. Ooh, Javelin. That's gonna ruin someone's day. To play portions of a game would definitely be breaking the mold. That isn't a bad thing. On YouTube, it's much more common to see people just play the start of the game. That's what kind of funny do. Does whatever. And, and that's what Sean does as well. Even PewDiePie 
Uh, there are many games he doesn't play uh, all the way. He's just messing around. Uh, day to day medic schedule you can only play Metal Gear on Tuesday for example Tuesday after Tuesday until you're through with it yeah no I don't like that what? What happened? that I don't like if I start a game I'm not pausing it to play another that makes uh, people uh, not feel the game as much at least for me, it does. I want people to be engaged. And... Let's say you really like Metal Gear Solid 4. You... You want the next bit by tomorrow, if when I end today. So, if I, if I don't play tomorrow, and you're anxious to see it, there are many, many other people playing it out there. Why not go watch them play it and then you're not interested in me playing it anymore? So, I, I like to... I want to deliver. If, if people want it, I want to deliver it right away. Not make them wait. I don't think I have... There's nothing to gain for me, and there's nothing to gain for them. It's a huge toss-up, depending upon the channel. Uh, I don't, I, I'm not following. I don't think I know what a huge toss-up is. English is not perfect all the time. We are meeting the bosses in this game. I don't remember their names, so I'm not going to say them. I do not remember them at all. These are the worst, worst enemies, bosses. They look cool and all, but the characters themselves. Yeah.
Everyone is dead. What the fuck is that flying octopus witch thing? Didn't you play this one, Eric? Don't tell me you didn't play Metal Gear Solid 4. Let's get all this crap. So much crap. No other con. Just collecting some shit. Not a moment of it? Well. How could you? How did you not get the ending to to a saga you like so much. And you have to ask for a higher degree of commitment. This is how I feel. Commit to me as the host of the channel. Don't commit to the game. Commit to me as a host entertainer and trust me. Okay. I see what you mean, but that host thing also happens on Twitch. guys, you were coming too close. And I like the fact that I can chat and all that. It's also a real pain to synchronize stuff. Anyway, I am feeling this is a good place to stop for, the, for today, so I'm going to do just that. Let's hit the shop. Uh, I, think I do have new stuff I can equip, right? to equip it, just launder it. Didn't have the console when it came out, got it a while back. GameStop for $5 and still haven't played it. Well, you're in luck! <laughs> you can watch it now. I don't get why all of these show up as new when I clearly have some of them. <laughs> anyway... Things just wiped the floor with the militiamen. Plus, the that, that, that wounded militia man was talking about. And now the wreckage is blocking the way. Snake, head straight for Liquid's camp. How do I save? I don't remember how to save. That's weird. Huh. 
Ah, there's a save option here. Okay, I guess. So that's it for today. Sorry, you should jump in party chat. I need to seek that level of commitment on Twitch and YouTube. I don't know. I don't really know about YouTube. I like the idea. But I still need to figure figure it out a little more. I also need to figure out uh, the color of my overlays on Twitch a little better. Anyway, thanks Eric for for being here and for saying my my stream was great tonight. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. That's that's Metal Gear Solid, the first part. We will continue tomorrow. Cause there's a lot more to see and a lot more to do, and it gets much more engaging as the game goes on. Cause I I don't like this this start. I don't like the way it starts. Not at all. I don't like the setting and I don't like these Meryl's troops, I don't care for them. You know it's the ending, so there's no use dragging things out. Anyway, that's it for the stream tonight. Thank you all for watching, good night and goodbye.